Tonight we have team coverage of all the big races tonight and the results with crews all across the metro area. Let's start with the governor's race. Kate Brown will keep the office for another four years, beating challenger representative Newt Bueller. So let's start with our very own Lisa Balick, who's live in downtown tonight with that race. Lisa? Well, this wrapped up a lot earlier than anybody expected. Even the governor did not assume it was going to be one and done before nine o'clock. Now take a look. The governor extremely happy. So happy she even did a victory dance when she first came out and was surrounded by a lot of students. Now she was very happy. She said she was going to focus especially on children, investing more in classrooms and education. She also was clearly pleased as to how Oregonians voted on the ballot measures. This election was truly about Oregon's future, and this is what it looks like. And isn't it beautiful? Now, the governor also promised to work on campaign finance reform. Her opponent topped $18 million in donations for this race. She came pretty close with more than $17 million. Now, Governor Brown promised to fight to protect natural resources in the state and work on the homeless issue. The governor, in the next few days, says she will be happy to be off the campaign trail, back behind the governor's desk doing her job. She says the main thing she has to do right now is put together a state budget. We'll have more on that, obviously, coming up the days ahead. Live in downtown Port Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Thanks, Lisa. Let's go now to Gabrielle Carroll, who was at the watch party for Representative Newt Bueller. Quiet night there. Gabrielle. This party has been over for a long time, much longer than was anticipated. Going into tonight, the campaign thought that we'd be getting final results about now. That was not to be the case. Again, this race was called for Governor Kate Brown just after 8, and Representative Bueller gave his concession speech around 8.30. Still, though it wasn't the outcome that supporters wanted, Republican Party Chair Bill Courier says this race gives him optimism for Republicans in Oregon. Take a listen. He sh uh, shined a light on issues that are important to Oregonians, uh, PERS and homelessness and education and so on. Uh, but the political machine of the Democrats uh, is very strong. Uh, a lot of money was, you know, a lot of money was put into this race on both sides, and they were able to get their message out uh, a little stronger than than uh, we were. And so, um, I think in the long run, what this does is strengthen the party uh, to face a, a similar fight down the road. But we do have to connect with voters a little stronger. With that said, I spoke to communications director Monica Robleski right after Bueller's concession speech, and she said despite the outcome, they wouldn't have done everything anything different. They ran a very competitive race. Uh, no one would have thought that a Republican would have been able to be such a challenge to Governor Brown. And going into tonight, it was a toss-up. Despite that, it proved to be not quite as competitive as the campaign had wished. And this emptied out behind me fairly early on, right after Bueller wrapped up speaking at 840. As for Bueller, he says he doesn't know what he's going to do next, but he will be starting with a vacation. Reporting in Portland, Gabrielle Carroll, Coin 6 News, back to you. All right.